Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Natalie. Today I'm going to do a blue. The goal is a food color blue. But to do that, you need some molina, fine rice flour. <coughs> Excuse me. Rice flour, corn flour, sugar, and yeast. Let's begin. I have two cup of semolina fine here and I have three cup of water here to mix it. Let me use two and a half and see first. First you do the porridge, so I'm, I'm starting with the porridge. You make sure you mix it where well. you don't want any lumps inside because when it goes into the hot water, the lumps will show. six cup of water here so all the water will add up to nine cups with two cups of semolina to do the porridge depend the quantity you want for me this is enough for me When you pour the mix of the semolina in cold water inside the hot water, you have to be stirring it until you start uh, cooking. Because if you leave it straight away, you have lumps. That's what I'm doing at the moment. And you let it cook for 10 15 minutes. And I'll come back and tell you what to do next. My semolina porridge is cold now, so I'm adding uh, 7 grams of yeast, fried yeast, sugar, depends how sweet you want it to be. Me, and let me see this, I'll do half of the one quarter, let me do one quarter. And uh, rice flour, rice flour, one cup. Boy, if you need, I will add more. Corn flour, just a bit, not too so much, like. Uh, one third of this cup corn flour two cup of semolina hmm. and salt and I'll mix all up
cover it to rise. But today to is sunny, so I will leave it outside. So now this step is the molding. I bought this to mold to do their blue boys too tiny. In Africa, they use bigger, the bigger one. This one is too small, so I normally use this method too. So I fold the paper um, like this. The size I want is this size because I have to half it into two later. So I do it like this. This one, I cannot tell you how to measure. You have to eyeball it yourself, the size you want. And depend on the quantity to you are doing. So, then I, it into two and I separate them So I have glass of glass cup. Beside this size, I'm going to use. I put it down like this. And do like this. So make sure you press this, the the, the 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 base of the glass, so that you can have a strong shape. It's bigger than this. This is the size I want. So I'll do it again. Just press on the base of the cup and use your hand to rub it so that you can take the shape and you take it. And you cut it to have your desired measurement. I'll do it again one more time. It's easy for me because I'm used to it. And depend on the foil paper, some of them are too light. You get a lighter one just be tearing you can tear every every time you you press it to have your size Yeah. 
their blow butter has risen so i'm going to start cooking it now every uh, a blue takes 11 minutes to cook so i have my steamer here and the foil paper okay my butter is too thick Okay, add some water. Yeah, if you, your butter is thick, you can add some water to it to make it light the way you want. I normally eyeball it this time around, so let me use a measurement to see how it will work. Just put inside a, a foil paper, but not too full because it double the size when it's cooking. has been 11 minutes now let me put it off and put the second tier My abloh is ready. You can eat it with any soup, fish, okra, palm nut soup, cook, uh, granite soup, anything you want to. In Togo, they eat with beans too, beans and stew. But me, I don't like that one. I like it with soup. Let me open it and you see inside. Yeah, this is my abloh. Let's see inside. It's light. Fluffy is very very light. Very light. This is blue. Very yummy. Mm. It's nice. So I'm hungry now. Everybody invited, please like, like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.